Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a personal bookings page using Microsoft Bookings. Bookings with me and Outlook is a web-based personal scheduling page that integrates with the free and busy information from your Outlook calendar. Bookings with me lets people schedule a meeting or an appointment directly with you. You can create custom meeting types to share with others so they can easily schedule time with you based on your availability and preferences. You both get an email confirmation and attendees can update or cancel scheduled meetings with you from your Bookings With Me page. Okay, first thing you're going to do is go to portal.office.com to log into the web version of Microsoft 365. Once logged in, click the waffle on the top left-hand side of your screen. If you do not see the Bookings app in the list that is shown, click all apps for the alphabetized application list. There you should see Bookings. This will bring you directly to the Bookings page. Another way to access your Bookings page is to click on your calendar and then click go to Bookings page on the left hand side. Again, in the web version of Microsoft 365. Today I'm showing you how to set up a personal bookings page. However, there is an option for a shared bookings page, and this would be more if you're going to create a booking page for a team instead of individuals. But again, for today's purposes, I'm going to show you how to set up a personal bookings page. So we're going to click where it says, go to my booking page. Your personal bookings page will pull your profile picture that you currently have for Microsoft 365. If you do not have a picture, you should see your initials in the circle here. And then you also should see your name in this location where mine says training. Another option you have is to change the banner image across the top here. If you click the three dots and go to edit banner image, they do give you some other options here to choose from. At this point, you cannot upload your own image, so you can only choose from what is here. Click the image that you want and then X out. You will see the change immediately there. When creating your bookings, you have two options, a public view and a private view. For today's purposes, we're going to create the public view. If you click the plus sign, it will open up a blank card. Here's where you're going to customize each booking opportunity you would like to have on your bookings page. You can add the title. If you use categories, they do give you the option here to add your category. Here you would add the description. Next, you have the opportunity to choose a location. It defaults to a Teams meeting. For today's purposes, I'm going to leave it as a Teams meeting. Next up, you are going to choose how long you want your meetings to last for. You can custom choose the time However, the default options are here. I'm going to leave it at 30 minutes. Next up is where you're going to schedule your customization. So here's where you're going to choose when you would be available for bookings. Now, remember that personal bookings page syncs directly with your Outlook calendar. So even if you set specific times that you would be available for booking, if a meeting gets added to your calendar during that time, the opportunity for somebody to book time with you during that time would be removed from your bookings page. So here, again, if you're open to being booked at any time during your regular meeting hours, you can leave it set to that. That is just going to default to your work hours. However, if you wanna use custom availability hours to schedule exactly when you would be available for bookings, you would click that in the dropdown. Here you can choose if it's only going to be for a specific date range that you would be available. And under here is where you're going to choose your days of the week and timeframes of availability. By clicking the X next to a day, it would remove the day completely. So use that to remove any days that you may not want to be available for bookings. If you have multiple timeframes that you have available on a certain day, you would just click the plus sign next to that day and here is where you would define the exact timeframes where you would be available for a bookings appointment. So for example, here I'm gonna put Tuesday from 10 to 12 and also Tuesday from three to four. 
And again, you can do that and drill down on each day based off your specific needs. Underneath that, you're going to click advanced options because here's where you're going to decide your buffer time before your meeting. So again, this is based off your calendar availability. I like to put at least 15 minutes before or after another scheduled meeting. So this way it gives me time to prepare. And you're also going to choose your minimum lead time and maximum lead time for somebody to have the opportunity to book time with you. I like to give myself at least one day lead time and maximum lead time I leave as 90 days default. Same as the limit start time, I leave that as the 30 minute intervals. However, you can adjust these settings based on your specific needs. Once you have your bookings card personalized, click save. Now you can see here, this card will be available on your bookings page for all to view. So this is the organizer view, meaning this is what you see when you go into your personal bookings page. I'm now going to show you what it would look like if a recipient went to your bookings page. Once your bookings page is available either in your email signature or shared as a link in an email, this is what the recipient would be viewing. If you create multiple meeting cards, those would be available here. Again, we only created one card for today's purposes. So you see that here. And then underneath, you're going to see the available times. What this does is match your availability with the person you are trying to book time with. And anything here on the right hand side would show an available option, date and time for you to book. Once you decide the time slot you want, you click that then click next. And here's where you're going to schedule that appointment. If you have any notes to put, you put that in this section and then you click book. That would send off an email to not only the organizer, but also the attendee. It also will immediately put that appointment on both calendars. Okay, just a few more tips. If you click the three dots again, you do have the opportunity to turn off your bookings page if you need to do that. That will prevent people from being able to book a meeting with you. And if you click the blue share button, that gives you the opportunity to either copy the link to your bookings page so you can share that out you also have the opportunity to directly share that link via an email. If you click that, it will pop up the share via email list and you can add your email addresses here and a, and a message and then click send directly from your bookings page. And you also have the opportunity to add your email directly to your signature right here. If you click that, it will immediately put a hyperlink that says book time to meet with me underneath your email signature. So anybody could click that link it will bring them directly to your personal bookings page. There they will have the option to book time with you directly. Now you know how to create your own personal bookings page using Microsoft Bookings. Stay tuned for next week's What the Tech tip. See you then.